Hello! Today I will show you how to add special effect to a baby portrait with bokeh image in GIMP 2.8. The final result is going to look like this. It's a baby photo and around you see nice background with blurry circles. I have two photos. One of my baby sleeping on her father's shoulder and the other image I took myself at home. I'm going to cut out the circles using free select tool. It's gonna help me to lay out this image later on. I'm doing it roughly with no precision whatsoever. Now I'm going to soften the edges of my selection. So I'm going to select feather and using 50 pixels for this. Next I'm going to edit copy, edit paste. A new layer appeared at the very top of the stack and I am naming it Bokeh. Now I'm going to delete the original image of the Bokeh as I don't need this anymore. And now let's make the magic. For the desired effect we need to set the image of Bokeh to screen mode. Using the move tool I'm going to find a good place for it. Here I think it looks quite good. As a next step I need to add a layer mask. So right click on the layer with bokeh, add layer mask. And here I'm selecting white full opacity mask. My foreground color is set to black and I'm going to use the big soft brush. Using the brush I'm going to paint in black color over the mask to remove the unwanted circles from the baby's face. Double check if everything is gone and I'm going to carry on. Now I need to select the image with bokeh, not only the layer, not the mask, and duplicate it. Using the move tool I'm going to move this layer to the next spot of the white wall. Here it should be fine, I think. But I feel like it needs some changes, so I'm going to transform it, um, flip horizontally, and then maybe even rotate it. To do the transformation of the layer, you need to go to Layer, Transform, and then choose Flip Horizontally or Rotate or Flip Vertically. The good thing that we don't need to add mask, as it is already there. All we need to do is select it, so click on the mask. Now I need to make the edges of the new bokeh layer invisible. So I'm setting the opacity of the big soft brush to about 14 and gently removing the unwanted. Once again double check if everything is fine. Now I'm selecting the bokeh layer with vertical position and duplicating it. With move tool I'm moving it to the next part of the image. Looking for a good place for it. Here it is. And as a next step I need to select mask of this layer and remove the unwanted bits and pieces. I'm sure you can guess my next step as I'm going to duplicate another layer with bokeh. Then I'm going to move it of course to the desired spot, then select layer mask and play with it. I have one last bit left to cover, so I'm duplicating the layer with bokeh again and I'm going to repeat all the steps I did before. Some spots of the image take more time to sort them out so I'm going to layer, transform and rotate. Bear with me here because I'm recording this video uh, the same moment I'm editing this image and this is how it looks in reality. You just move and move and look for the perfect spot and you can't find it. I think I'm going to even delete the layer mask here just to reveal the whole 
layer. Finally, I found the place and I'm going to add fresh layer mask. And now, of course, I need to clean this layer up. I thought the last time I duplicated the image, it was the last time, but I need to cover another bit. So let's repeat it again, all the steps. The point is to avoid visible patterns in circles, so it wouldn't be noticeable that we used uh, one image with bokeh all over here. And the layer transform tool is very handy here because really you can change the way the layer bokeh looks. This layer needs to be cleaned up as well, so just few strokes. This uh, step is optional, I'm creating a new transparent layer. I'm going to set my foreground color to light purple, blue, I don't know how to describe this color. Check the numbers on the screen. Using the bucket tool I'm filling the transparent layer with the foreground color, which is this light purple. I'm going to set this layer to screen mode and reduce the opacity to about 24-25%. The effect should be delicate, the image should be tinted, not colored really in some strong shade or something. Now I'm going to add layer mask, white full opacity to the layer with purple tint. Then set my foreground color to black and using big soft brush I'm going to remove the tint from the baby's face and the body in general. There are different ways to add tint to the bokeh layer. I could have used a big soft brush and paint in tint on the bokeh. That way I wouldn't need to remove it from the baby's face. But today I decided to do it like this. Ok, our image is actually ready now and the next step is to duplicate the original image. But make sure that the layer you want to duplicate is selected. I'm switching off the layer of the original image and going to Image Merge Visible Layers and selecting Merge. And here it is, what we had before and what we did to this image. This was an idea how you can add a bit of magic to a baby portrait. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. Thanks for watching and leave a comment if you enjoyed it.